Hey guys, this is Nick from Technic Reviews and today will not so much be a review but more a tutorial to help you guys with the NVIDIA Shield 2017 controller and connecting it to your Windows 10 device whether it is a gaming PC or laptop. So if we head over to the website over here, you'll see that there are two controllers. The 2015 controller does not have Bluetooth, so make sure you have the 2017 version, um, which is on the left over here. So let's hit that. And if you look at the website, it says, which device are you trying to connect to? So we say PC with GeForce GTX. You do not need a GeForce graphics card. You can have an AMD one. You just need a Windows 10 PC. So here's your controller and as you see over here it says at the bottom support for wireless Bluetooth connection is coming soon. Uh, according to this video that is wrong. You can still use a wired connection if you want to but obviously we are moving wireless now. So let's connect this guy up to Bluetooth on our PC to get some epic gaming going on this beautiful controller. So let's move over to the shield. Uh, and forget the device because we have to do that. So on the shield, we will go to the home screen. We will come down here and we will go to shield accessories, the bottom next to settings. And then we will click on the shield controller, not the remote and hit forget accessory. You have to do this or else the part on PC pairing it with your PC will not work. Um, to come back later, you can pair this accessory again right over here where it says pair an accessory. So once you're done with it on your PC, you can pair it. Okay, moving back to our PC, you have to hold down this middle NVIDIA button on your controller for three seconds and then you'll see a blue flickering light just above it as I'm showing you here. Okay, once that is done, we can head over to our Bluetooth settings. Okay, once we get into settings, we can hit add Bluetooth or other devices and add the Bluetooth device. There it is there, NVIDIA controller. It says here version 01.04. It's actually version 1.4 if you look on the shield itself. It's a bit different here, but that doesn't matter. I mean, maybe you're a bit anal like that, but it doesn't phase me. So once we've got that, we'll click on that and it will start connecting. There we go, setting up device. Okay, it is all set up and ready to go. So as you can see, now I'm using my left analog stick to flick up and down in the settings menu here. Uh, but what we really want to see is how this works with the game. So let's head over to The Witcher 3, show you some gameplay. So as you can see, we're using the left analog stick here and the right analog st stick to move around. This is so much fun. I love this game. I actually need to get back into it. This is the second DLC, by the way. This is Blood and Wine. Okay, so here's our fast attack and here's our heavy attack. So X and Y work perfectly fine. Okay, jumping, B is going well, B is working fine, sprinting with A is A-okay, and let's do R1, use our crossbow, working fine, L1, which is our power, is working fine, RT to use our power, seems to be working fine, let's use Igni, there we go, fire is working well, Okay, LT is working fine for our sensors and double tap left analog stick and here comes Roach. Let's hop on Roach. Whoa, sorry Roach. <laughs> okay, whoa buddy, where are you going? I'm talking to Geralt by the way, not Roach. Okay, let's go for a nice stroll. So as you guys can see, uh, the shield controller is working perfectly fine. Get some good battery life out of it. Uh, a little bit more than an Xbox One controller and a PS4, not as much as the Nintendo Switch, I believe, that gets 40, the Pro Controller. Uh, so yeah, but it works well, it is smooth, it is comfortable, and I can easily play on it for a couple of hours. So I posted this video because I didn't see many options online. So yeah, hit me up next time, guys. 